To the weather system that brought North Florida area some severe weather and heavy rain on Wednesday is now making its way southward across the central and south Florida peninsula. Not expecting any severe weather with this line of showers and thunderstorms, just mainly some beneficial rainfall for those areas as we make our way into Thursday. Now, as I mentioned, some of those rainfall totals, which got as high as four to six inches across portions of the Florida Big Bend and Eastern Panhandle. That'll start to impact some of our rivers as we head into the weekend. So people living along areas such as the Blackwater River, the Shoal River, the Choctahatchee, the Apalachicola, the St. Mark's River need to pay attention to the latest forecast in case river levels begin to impact homes and businesses. As we head into the weekend, some rainfall could come back into the picture for North Florida areas. So we have another area of low pressure trying to develop over the Gulf of Mexico. And it could have a quite a large area of rain associated with it. Could be some heavy rainfall at times. So again, remember that safety message of turn around, don't drown in case you approach a flooded roadway. And that area of low pressure will quickly move east across the Florida Peninsula on Saturday, but it will have a cold front associated with it, and that'll sweep across the peninsula. And it's that front that we're worried about the chance for severe weather, mainly across central Florida on Saturday, even though some strong thunderstorms could also be possible across areas further north and south. So again, have that weather radio nearby in case a watcher warning is issued for your area. Now, along with the threat for severe weather, some heavy rain could also be associated with this system as it moves east across the peninsula. You can see another one to two inches, maybe as high as three or four inches across areas mainly from the Florida Big Bend down to Lake Okeechobee on Friday. And then even lingering into Saturday as the system continues to move northeast away from the area. We can still see some showers in the forecast for late in our weekend and early next week, although most of those will be hit and miss. So mostly dry end of the weekend and early next week expected for much of our state. And as always, for more information on weather forecasts for your area and how to get a plan in case of severe weather, you can go to floridadisaster.org.